everyone and welcome back to Willow's Notes. In today's question of the day, we will be constructing a phylogenetic tree. To construct the tree, we will use this table. We have a protein W, of course it doesn't exist, it's a random protein, and the amino acid sequence for this protein was determined for five species of vertebrates A, B, C, D, and E. These numbers represent the differences in the amino acid sequences. For example, if we look at species A and B, the number is 2. This means that if we look at the amino acid sequences of species A and B, assuming that these are similar, if we find differences, I can spot two differences, right? Alanine is replaced by glycine in B, and here also alanine replaced by serine in B. So there are two different amino acids within the sequence. So the less different they are, it means that they are more similar. These two are only different at two amino acids, which means that these two are very similar to each other. So the easiest way of constructing the tree is to look for the smallest number in the table. Again, why the smallest number? Because the smaller this number, it means the less the differences in the amino acid sequences and hence the more similar they are. So let's circle the smallest number. In this case, it is two. Two is the smallest difference between A and B. So, Go ahead and draw a line, and on top of the line, place A and B together. Now search for the second smallest number. In this table, it is 4, which is the number of amino acid differences between C and D. So we will place C and D together like this, C and D, on the tree. Now that we have placed four out of our five species, we have E left. If we look at the column for E, the number of differences between E and each of the other species is very high, which means E is the least similar to the others. And therefore, we will place E at the bottom of the tree. E represents our outgroup, meaning the species with the most differences and hence the least related to the other species. This was it for today's video. I hope you found it easy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.